Hey guys, I just wanted to show you really quickly how you can customize the color of all of the paint textures that come in the Rylan pack. So it comes in rust, yellow, and blush, but that might not be exactly what you need for the project you're working on. So um, changing the color in Photoshop is pretty easy. You can do it with any of these textures because they're all um, transparent background ping files. And there are basically two ways that you can do it. So you can either use a color overlay, which gives you complete control over the exact color. Um, so that's my preferred way of doing it if you're using it for like a branding project or something that needs really, really specific color tones. Um, or you can use the hue saturation tool um, to adjust the color and maintain more texture. So if you want to use the color overlay technique, all you're going to do is double click on your layer in your layers panel to pull up your layer style window. Click color overlay and then pick the color you want to use. So color overlay works pretty well still with these because um, any texture that's present has actually been erased out of it. So if you use a texture pack that doesn't have that level of detail, sometimes it'll just color overlay the whole thing so you won't get any of this texture. Um, and that's where using the hue saturation tool is effective. But because a lot of the texture has actually been erased from these images, so your background comes through, you maintain a lot of the texture. So if you try this trick with other packs and it doesn't work as well, that's probably why. Um, so let's pick this color. I'm actually gonna copy that so we have it. So that's the fastest way, I think, for at least for these textures to change your color. You can also use the hue saturation tool. So um, you'll have your layer selected and then go to image adjustments, hue saturation. And you're gonna click this colorize button here. Now what that does is it matches the color to whatever is in your foreground here on the side. Um, and yeah, it looks very different, but that's just because we need to adjust these a bit. So if you wanted to match it to this as closely as you could, I would just kind of play around with these sliders here and tweak until the color looks like what you're wanting it to be. So this definitely isn't as specific as a color overlay, but if you're working with textures that don't quite maintain like this level of integrity when um, when you use a color overlay, if you use the hue saturation tool, it will keep all of the texture in there, whether it's been erased out or not. So yeah, that's basically the easiest ways to change your colors of these textures, and you can do it with every single one. Um, and if you actually need to uh, do this for more than one and make sure your color is the same, the easiest way to do that is to right click on your layer and go copy layer style. And then whenever you drag your other shapes in, you can just right click, paste layer style, and it'll match it for you. That's the color overlay, whoops. Yeah, and then you can toggle those two to kind of see the difference between each one. But um, yeah, pretty easy. If you guys have any questions, please reach out, let me know. I'm happy to help and happy to answer anything for you. Thanks.